Okay, so we've already flipped it out of size. So this is what it looks like in a frying pan. We're gonna cook on on one side and then cook it on the next side. And then at that point, then it will be completely finished. See, it looks a lot more fluffier because we put in the ingredients and let it sit and let it do its thing. Instead of trying to flip it during the process, which makes it look crazy. Okay, the first thing you wanna go ahead and do is put the ingredients into the salsa. Make sure it's a much smaller one because the pasta is so small. Here we have the chicken we're gonna slash in. We're gonna go that, put that in first. Then you wanna go ahead and add the onion, the bell peppers, and the garlic into the same salsa. Once it cooks down a little bit, it should look something like this. We have the chicken made our sauces, the onion, the bell peppers, and the garlic. At this stage of making the omelet, we will go ahead and add the egg to it. What you want to do is bring the mixture a little bit more in the middle because you don't want to have the actual pieces stick out the end like that. Make sure they're a little bit more in. You also want to have your fire at a low heat, whether it be medium, but you don't have to actually do low because it's going to take forever to do it if you do it that way. So we don't, this is actually the start of the first omelet. And let's let it cook. Don't do too many flippings and turns. Just let it go ahead and start to bake underneath because different sections of the pan will actually get hot, like around the corners and the center, a lot quicker than the other areas. So once you turn it over, it looks something like this. See, yeah, this time around, we actually fold it a lot better. It's because I put the mixture in the egg and let it cook. So I guess it's a little bit more to the point where it's not sticking out from the omelet. In terms of the egg, because I guess once you put in the ingredients first and then try to add the egg, it may cause it to break like this. And as you can see, this is a lot more whole. I think one amazing reason that happened is because the mixture was placed in the egg and it was started from time we put it into the pot, so it tends to work a lot better. I also push up the sides to try to make sure it works a little bit better. At this point, we just want to go ahead and see if we have a nice flavor on here. Let's just go ahead and add the cheese. Try to do it all around. Give you a nice coverage. We're going to get that going for a little while before we actually flip it. So it can actually be a little bit small inside before we put it into the plate. Okay, so we've already flipped it out of size. So this one looks like in a frying pan. We're gonna cook on one side and then cook it on the next side. And at that point, then it will be completely finished. See, so it looks a lot more fluffier because we put in the ingredients and let it sit and let it do its thing. Instead of trying to flip it during the process, which makes it look crazy. And this is the finished product. And thank you guys so much for staying tuned to this tutorial. So, two different ways you make the omelet and as far as the biscuits we're gonna do that another time but today we're more focused on the omelet and making it from looking really from like this versus if you made a certain way it will look like this so next time bye bye